Alright, what's going on guys? It seems that we are under attack once again by the mainstream media. I don't know what it is, but it's always the old people, man. I never see any younger people coming on the news talking about gaming like this. It's always these old motherfuckers. Listen, man, it's not our fault your old ass grew up playing tic-tac-toe on the chalkboard that was your gaming okay don't be mad that i'm experiencing that prime 1080p 60 fps gaming experience you don't gotta be upset about it but it seems they have come up with a brand new way to attack gaming we all know they've been trying to blame school shootings on violent video games recently especially with the increase in shootings that we've had of course the first thing they do is blame it on call of duty but now they've taken it to a whole nother level now they are claiming if you play video games too much you have a mental disorder who classifies gaming disorder as a mental health condition. I love how they used a picture of a original Xbox controller, not even the Xbox 360 controller, the original. Like, could you have not found a picture of someone gaming from like maybe this decade or something? Like, could you be any more out of touch with what the fuck you're talking about? But really, it just shows how much they understand about gaming and how much they really are not qualified to be speaking about. It. But first, let us classify exactly what is a gaming disorder. This is straight from the World Health Organization's website. Yes, they actually put gaming disorder on their website. Gaming disorder is defined in the draft 11th revision of the International Classification of Diseases as a pattern of gaming behavior, digital gaming or video gaming, characterized by impaired control over gaming, increasing priority given to gaming over other activities, to the extent that gaming takes precedence over other interests and daily activities, and continuation or escalation of gaming despite the occurrence of negative consequences. For gaming disorder to be diagnosed, the behavior pattern must be of sufficient severity to result in significant impairment in personal, family, social, educational, occupational, or other important areas of functioning and would normally have been evident for at least 12 months. It's just crazy to me that we live in a society where playing too much Fortnite is now classified as a mental disorder, but cutting off your dick and pretending to be a girl is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that person's brain. We don't even need to investigate that. Now this fucking eight year old who's been playing Fortnite all day, now that's a sick motherfucker right there. There's something wrong with that kid's brain. Oh, it's totally fine that we've created 490 new genders and we got people identifying as non-binary gender fluid trans polysexuals or whatever the fuck that's cool that's totally normal but god forbid a kid wants to play a video game that's a sick child get him some help he is a mentally ill child like come on man let's just keep it real here i i will admit i think gaming addiction is a real thing i i would say i've been addicted to gaming before you know i played a game for like eight hours a day for like a month straight or whatever you know that's not really that weird weird but to go so far as to call it a mental disorder is pretty ridiculous right Let, let's just make a list of mental disorders we got bipolar disorder schizophrenia ptsd depression oh and then the worst of all playing Fortnite for six hours one of these things is not like the others right I, I think we know which one it is obviously schizophrenia has no business being on that list but I saw an article that was classifying a gaming addiction at just 20 hours a week I mean I think that's pretty low right 20 hours a week is not very much at all that's not even three hours a day that's pretty normal you know if you just play a couple hours before bed every night maybe you you play a little bit longer on the weekends you're gonna hit above 20 hours a week and you're still gonna live a very normal life in no way do you have an addiction to gaming or even a, a gaming disorder 
murder because you want to play COD for a couple hours. Like, that's fucking stupid. And the worst part about their definition is it's so, like, vague and broad that almost anything can be seen as a mental health disorder by this definition, you know? What if we replace gaming with watching Netflix, right? Everybody's watching Netflix, but nobody thinks you have a fucking Netflix disorder because you fucking watched a full season of Breaking Bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's like, oh my god, this guy's sick in the head. Nobody thinks you have a fucking watching sports disorder if you spend all day on Sunday watching football. No, nobody gives a fuck. That's normal, right? Nobody thinks you're mentally ill if you spend all day on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, like, talking to people wherever. No, no, no. That's completely normal to be glued to your phone all day that's normal but hey if you hop on the xbox and play call of duty now you are a sick individual you need help it just doesn't make any sense based off of their qualifications you could be addicted to anything and obviously they're not saying anybody's addicted to watching netflix you know why because they don't give a fuck about netflix for some reason the mainstream media especially these old motherfuckers they just hate gaming but based off of their criteria that they've given I qualify as having gaming disorder, and I would assume a lot of you qualify as having gaming disorder as well, so I guess I'm officially like a handicapped person, uh, I'm mentally ill or something, so I guess I need to go see my doctor right now, and I gotta tell him I have gaming disorder so he can prescribe me some good medication, you know, it's the same way as if I went to him and told him I was bipolar, you know, he'd give me similar medication, right? You know, that makes sense. He's probably gonna think I'm a fucking retard. He might actually consider me for a mental disorder if I went to him and told him I had a gaming disorder. He'd probably think there was something wrong with me. But I think it just comes down to this, man. It's pretty simple. Kids don't have a gaming disorder. You know, they definitely can have a gaming addiction, but people can be addicted to anything. You know, half the country is addicted to cigarettes and alcohol and they're legal and nobody gives a fuck about that. They're still happy to sell that everywhere because they're making their money. I would say it's a lot better to be addicted to gaming than it is to be addicted to drugs or cigarettes or alcohol or things like that right but hey those things bring in the money so they don't give a fuck about that but it really comes down to a parenting issue as far as gaming goes with children. They, they don't need to go to the doctor. They just need their fucking parent to say, Hey, little Eugene, turn the fucking Xbox off and go do your homework and go to bed. Simple as that. They're not mentally ill. There's nothing wrong with the kid's brain. The kid just wants to play Call of Duty instead of doing his algebra homework. I mean... Who the fuck doesn't want to do that? Like, would you rather do math homework instead of play a video game? No, you wouldn't. It's a completely normal way to feel. There's nothing wrong with these kids' brains. What a completely fucked up world that we live in where we're letting kids change their gender and take hormones that completely fuck up their body at like six years old. When their fucking nuts ain't even hanging yet, they're already getting rid of their nuts. But there's no questions asked about the mental state of that kid. That's completely acceptable. But if that same six-year-old kid wants to play a video game, now we gotta consider whether or not he has a mental disorder. I mean, I don't know, that's a pretty tough debate, I guess. Playing Xbox versus cutting off your dick. I don't know. One of those screams mental illness. Oh, I know, playing Xbox. Yeah, that's the fucking weird one. Anyways, man, you know, another day, another backward step for humanity. I, I think as we progress in society, it only gets worse. And from all the evidence I've seen, I think it's only going to keep getting worse. So I guess we're fucked, man. I don't know. Anyways, that's it for the video. Let me know down below. Do any of you also suffer from gaming disorder? So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and peace out.